Hello everyone, my name is Srishti Ravak and I am from Wings Training Solutions. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, I am going to train you on the topic teamwork, which is an indispensable process for any organization to run effectively. Teamwork is also a concept which can be learned as a skill and will contribute to your professional growth very much. Let's get started. So first, I would like to explain you that what is going to happen in this training session. What are the objectives that we have set for this particular training session? By the end of the session, you'll be able to learn what is teamwork. You will also know why teamwork skills matter. You will also get to know about the characteristics of effective teamwork and how it is implemented in real time. You will also be covering how to build effective teams. So we'll be discussing some strategies as to how you can build effective teams at your workplace in your organization. In this session, I'll also cover why teams fail, the causes of failure, why uh, teams are not able to work out well or produce results. Towards the end, I will be talking about the challenges of working in a team. Let's get started with the concept of teamwork. What is teamwork? The sum of the efforts undertaken by each team member for the achievement of the team's objective is called teamwork. In other words, teamwork is the backbone of any team. See, when a group of people come together and they are working for one single goal or a common goal, those efforts put will be considered as teamwork. Why? Because the efforts that are being put in accomplishing that particular goal is put together as a group of people and not individually. Teamwork becomes the backbone of any team because if you do not have teamwork, which means if you do not have the team members working with each other in a harmonious way, in a nice way, in an effective manner, then there will be no results and you will not be happy with the output. Next, let us analyze teamwork as a skill. Now, you know what? Teamwork is a skill set that we need to develop along with the formal qualifications that we have. So let's analyze how teamwork acts, acts as a skill. How teamwork acts as a skill. Now, a successful team is one where everyone's unique skills and strengths help the team achieve a shared goal in the most effective way which is quite true. A successful team becomes when you're able to utilize everyone's unique skills and strengths. See, in a group of people, you will have different skill sets, okay? And when you start leveraging these strengths, so you contribute to teamwork. If you have good people skills, you will make a very good team player. And all the employers these days are looking for candidates who can show teamwork skills. You must also know that Sometimes the employers also ask you questions during your interviews that tell me a, an example or give me an instance where you have shown teamwork skills in your school, college or workplace. So there you are supposed to talk about your teamwork experience. And if you have that, you will always have an edge over the other candidates. Now, along with teamwork, we also require good communication skills and having a very positive attitude. Why a positive attitude is required? Because here you're not only dealing with yourself, but with a group of people who come with different mindsets and different thought process. And therefore it becomes important to adapt, right? Now I have an acronym for you here. Together everyone achieves more. I repeat, together everyone achieves more. It is true. When we combine our efforts, we are able to produce more. So it results in synergy, which is combined energy and can create outstanding results. Let's have a look at why teamwork matters. Now I have listed here four points that why teamwork will have a significance or will matter in your life. Teamwork matters in a way because it creates synergy and the sum is always greater than the parts, which means when typically a group of people come together to do something, to do a particular or finish a particular task, then we create synergy, which is combined energy. And combined energy will always be greater than individual energy, isn't it? Second point, look here, supports a more empowered way of thinking. Why? Because 
look at the group dynamics you know you get more power when uh, you are working on a common thing okay and you get more power to think to react to take decisions and that's how you become empowered and you feel nice you feel motivated that you are contributing to something big something uh, really substantial so yes it gives you more power hence more opportunities when you're working in a team third point is that teamwork fosters flexibility and responsiveness so isn't it important this is one skill set that makes you a flexible person and who doesn't want flexibility in this in these days in terms of nature because we cannot be rigid at our workplace we need to think about the best that we can do for the company and for ourselves and teamwork will always foster flexibility it will make you a flexible person it will help you adapt to the surroundings and not only you are you know uh, becoming flexible for others but also the organization becomes flexible for you and that is how the work uh, you know the balance uh, it it strikes a balance after some time and then you become happy with your company or with your career fourth important point about why teamwork matters is that it promotes the sense of achievement equity and friendship essential for a motivated workplace now imagine if you have a 9 to 5 job and it is very boring where you do not have teamwork in place and you feel really cut out when you go to the office will you feel like going to the office then i don't think so any person any employee wants a motivated workplace wherever he or she goes and for the workplace to be a motivated workplace uh, organizations conduct activities regularly so that employees work in teams and you know perform some activities which makes them united which which binds them which uh, uh, creates unison in them and which creates harmony happiness at workplace so when we are working in a team for any particular activity task or goal it will promote the sense of achievement that we have done something as a team it will promote equity because you are given equal opportunities opportunities to prove yourself opportunities to interact with others it also promotes friendship because this is uh, the way this is one of the ways how you get to know your colleagues otherwise it's difficult uh, if you do not you know give any team activity or if you do not conduct any team activities at your workplace then how can you expect the employees to gel with each other and when employees do not gel with each other when they're not comfortable with each other how can you expect the business to flourish so it's that simple see we need to value the human resource it's really really important now i move on to the next part which says characteristics of an effective teamwork what are the characteristics the features how do you identify that effective teamwork is going on first point is credibility what do you mean by credibility credibility means that all the people in the group should take responsibility and accept the credit for their actions as a team and not on an individual basis you can take example of a cricket team so uh, you have one captain in the entire cricket team okay so when the team wins the match so the captain is supposed to say and should be saying uh, about everyone the team effort the combined team effort and not about only one person because when you're playing cricket you're playing as a team and not as an individual so whatever batsmen bowlers fielders have done in that match you need to acknowledge that and appreciate it so when we take credit for our uh, winning for accomplishing something we need to take it as a team and not on an individual basis so when there is credibility when there is trustworthiness when there is responsibility shown by the team members effective teamwork next characteristic is communicating the purpose yes if you are communicating your purpose well to your team members half of the purpose is solved you know what the major causes of uh, failures of teams is miscommunication or misinformation or rumors not giving clarity to the people about what is going to happen so how can you expect the people to act the way you want to avoid this we must communicate the purpose really well communicate your purpose tell your team members why they are doing what they are doing 
they need to have a why to their actions. Only then they will be convinced and they will move forward in accomplishing the goal faster. So there is a need to have a sense of purpose in the team for achieving a specific and clear mission. Now, when I talk about goal setting, there is a very uh, common strategy, a famous strategy, which is called smart goal strategy. So you can apply that smart strategy here also for communicating your purpose in a team. See, this message is out for all working professionals and aspiring professionals who want to work in corporate. Teamwork uh, is a skill that you must develop. You must know how to communicate the, uh, you know, the purpose to your team. And if you develop these uh, skill sets, you will definitely uh, enjoy perks and benefits uh, in that particular role. Uh, by that, I mean you, you, you might have additional responsibilities. You might get uh, more opportunity, opportunities and exposure, I'm sorry. Yeah, so communicating the purpose becomes really important. Next important characteristic of effective team is accountability. Now, uh, I have seen uh, a lot of teams where team members are taking a responsibility and acknowledging their mistakes and their, uh, you know, uh, their contributions. On the other hand, I've seen teams where uh, there is no accountability when it comes to uh, accountability of the team members, which means that they are not taking responsibility for whatever is asked out of them. So if there is no accountability, the team will not be effective it will it cannot give effective results so accountability is necessary teams must be accountable as a group for all their failures as well as successes so once you have created a team so you are supposed to give them the task or the goal to be achieved and then you are supposed to tell them communicate the purpose and also all the team members should feel equally accountable to accomplishing that task the particular task that people are working on does not belong to only one person. It actually belongs to the entire group, which is why accountability becomes a very important factor in identifying whether the teamwork is going. Next point is appreciation. Yes, who doesn't like appreciation? We as employees or employers or uh, professionals or students, we like to be appreciated. As human beings, it's a basic uh, nature, I must say. We like to be appreciated. So when we like to be appreciated in general, then why not at workplace? So at workplace also, we are expecting some motivation and appreciation from our seniors. All the members of the group should appreciate the knowledge, diversity, which the other individual in the group can offer. Now here we are talking about knowledge diversity. When you have different people, different minds in the group, you have different knowledge set. And that creates a good uh, hub of knowledge, which, which contributes to knowledge diversity. And we must acknowledge the knowledge, the skill set, the expertise of each team member in a particular team. So appreciation is also a very significant characteristic of effective teamwork. The last uh, characteristic that I would like to explain here is cooperative spirit. There is a need for the spirit of cooperation in a successful team. Yes. What do you mean by cooperation? Everyone working together in harmony. Everyone working together in a very uh, effective, productive manner. Everyone understanding their strengths and weaknesses and accordingly working towards their goals. All the members required to work collectively for achieving the specific mission. So cooperative spirit becomes really important in teamwork. I hope you enjoyed learning about all the characteristics of effective teamwork. How we build effective teams. First is communication. Communication is key. Communication is key. Uh, let me move the window here. I hope now it's good. Okay, so how do we build effective teams? First point is communication is key. Communication is key. If we are communicating our purpose well, the teams will automatically start functioning without any delay. Second is problem solving attitude. Yes, we do require problem solving attitude at workplace and it becomes really important when we are thinking about building an effective team. We must look forward uh, practices like design thinking when we are approached or when we uh, encounter a problem. We should not be problem creators, but we should be solution oriented individuals who know how to tackle a problem and how to 
a confront a problem and work towards a solution. We can also build very effective teams uh, through negotiation skills. By negotiation here, I, I would like to uh, emphasize on the, on the need of acknowledging each other's strengths, leveraging it, and making it as your combined strength. Next is trust building. Trust building, absolutely significant, absolutely uh, important, vital for building effective teams. We need trust. If you do not trust your team, how will you work for it? Uh, whenever I have worked in my team, uh, in any team in my uh, career, so I have to trust my team members. I do trust my team members. I trust my project managers. I trust my directors. I trust my vice president. Whatever they assign uh, us the task, we, we do it with full dedication and sincerity without having any doubt. If there are any doubts, you must clear it then and there but not have doubts in your mind. Next, let's talk about why teams fail. So I have listed here a few points on as to why teams fail. First is lack of vision. When you don't have a vision in place, that's why companies come up with vision and mission statement. Why do you think they come up with such uh, statements uh, on their company's profile or webpage or website? If you have your vision clearly stated, to your team, to your company, to your employees, they will never fail. They will never go out of place. They will always be uh, completely oriented and focused. So teams sometimes do fail because of lack of vision. So all the managers out there or aspiring managers, look out for these causes of failure of teams and you have to identify it there and then and correct it. Second is no accountability. When there is no accountability among the team members, teams are bound to fail. So accountability, as I told you, that it is one of the characteristics of an effective teamwork. So yeah, if there is no accountability, the team is going to fail. Third is conflict between personality. When you put uh, people of opposing personalities, different personalities, very dominant personalities, or very coy and introvert personalities together, sometimes conflicts do occur. Because Every individual has their own working style, learning style, and their individual behavior pattern. Because of it, sometimes conflicts can occur. So as soon as any conflict occur, we have to identify it and provide a solution to it. Because these conflicts could become one of the reasons for team failure. Next is a no clear identity. When you're not providing clear identity to your team members, in those cases also, the team could fail. The last point here is no training. See, uh, to motivate the human resource, to get them going, it's important to motivate them. It's important to make them feel heard. And for that, you need to give them regular training, mentoring, coaching, support, handholding, so that they feel secure at every step of their career. So if you are a project manager, if you are a team leader or a team manager, make sure that you conduct regular trainings for your team members so that they feel motivated at their workplace. Moving on to the next slide, benefits of teamwork. Yes, this is uh, particularly very interesting because I'm going to analyze teamwork from two perspectives. Uh, one from uh, the employee's uh, perspective and second from the employer's perspective. From the employee's perspective, we see that when we are working in a team, the tasks are completed more quickly because there's more responsiveness, because there's more promptness. Your team members are taking decisions and working towards it more comfortably and quickly. So yes, teamwork has benefits. Tasks are completed more quickly, will require less time. Second, greater job satisfaction. Absolutely correct. When uh, you are working in a team, it will lead to greater job satisfaction because you'll be more happy about what actually you are doing and what are you contributing to the, to the world through your work. So that's the biggest inspiration and motivation that uh, any employee, any individual could get, you know, understanding your contribution to the bigger cause. So yeah, teamwork does lead to greater job satisfaction. Third is work is often more enjoyable, happier workplace. So as I told you that uh, a workplace becomes enjoyable, happy and motivated when you have 
successful teams when you have happy teams working together you know so uh, teamwork really uh, brings in a lot of happiness at workplace it increases the happiness quotient at workplace fourth is the ability to draw on other people's experiences and ideas because when we are working alone we we do have a lot of blind spots but as soon as we sw- uh, shift to a team we get to know about other experiences their ideas their thought process sometimes we might uh, come across points that we never thought of just because we are working in a team so yeah it helps us to understand from other perspectives as well and expand our thinking for employers also teamwork has a lot of benefits now to list some first is improved production and higher staff morale so when you have teamwork in place it will it will contribute to improved production and it will also boost the staff morale they will feel like coming to office every day they will feel like you know joining you in your conversations and contributing they they will be happy in expressing their concerns so the staff morale goes up the hr the burden on hr goes down when you have teamwork working properly second point is reduced staff turnover do you know what staff turnover means i'll tell you turnover staff turnover means uh, the number of people who are leaving the company leaving the jobs okay so when you have successful teams working in your company people don't want to leave good teams so they stay in the company for a longer duration which means it will reduce the staff turnover third point is it will increase the profits and the product quality because when there are five eyes 10 eyes on a particular product or service it will definitely enhance its output and it will also contribute to increased profits because now you're working in synergy along with your team last i would like to discuss about the challenges that we might face in teamwork so when i've discussed about the benefits that you enjoy uh, as an employee or as an as an employer we also have a look at the challenges in the teamwork here uh, i have listed four challenges the major challenges that could happen in the teamwork when you're working in a team let's have a look at it one by one number one is more time may be needed to reach a decision and take action obviously yes sometimes people are very productive they're very fast in their work and they can finish a time it finish a task in very less time on the other hand when that the, the same task is being carried out in a team might require more time because then there is more consideration more discussion more eyes to work on it and to uh, you know uh, uh, ponder upon how how do we come up with a solution sometimes this process may be time consuming so this is one of the major challenges uh, which occurs while working in a team there could be delay in taking actions and there could be delay in completing the task in terms of time second is a dominant person may influence the team's decision making yes it does happen sometimes when you have dominant people in your team they might influence the entire team's decision that could be one of the challenges for which we need to have different strategies to engage such employees to engage such team members okay so third is there is more opportunity for conflict to emerge and continue obviously yes when you have more people working together uh, directly proportional to conflicts conflicts will increase so conflicts uh, managing conflicts could be one of the big challenges in teamwork last is it may be difficult to work out who is responsible for action so this is uh, somewhat similar to accountability because in a team work sometimes we are not able to identify who worked maximum and who worked minimum because you are not analyzing it well sometimes you know it might happen uh, i'm sure that you you'll become successful managers but sometimes we have to take a note of who has done what in terms of contribution and uh, keeping a track keeping a record of all the team members when they are accomplishing or on their way to complete that goal or task if we have the analytics the reports with with us then there will be less disparity then there will be less bias so that will uh, ultimately lead to a happy team so these are uh, the most popular challenges in team work so everyone i think today uh, we have uh, discussed a lot about teamwork and i'm sure that you have understood about what teamwork means why teamwork uh, as a skill matters in today's times and uh, how it is beneficial in your professional success 
with this uh, i would like to thank you all for listening uh, to my video and watching my video stay tuned for more youtube videos on a wings training solutions channel thank you very much